So, what comes to mind when you think about growing up in Edgerly or Vinton? <laughs> is it good thoughts? Was it good? Is it good thoughts? Is it was it a good place to grow up? Yeah, I thought it was. What did you love to do as a kid before high school? Like when you were a kid, what were some of the fun things you liked to do? Well, we went fishing and we go swimming. And... Did you swim in Edgerly or is that when did you when did you move to Edgerly? How old were you when you moved to Edgerly? I was in the third grade. I don't know how old I was. In the third grade. Uh. What's something you remember most about your teenage years? Working in the rest field in the summer, I guess, pulling weeds. Oh yeah? You only had to do it in the summer? I think it's a jet or something. Where? Yeah, you were down there in the summer. That's whenever the rice was planted. You had to get the weeds out of it before you cut it. Oh, yeah. Uh, was that here or was that in Bell City? Well, whenever, whenever my daddy farmed, when me and Troy, they used to have to cut weeds in, in, in the rice field. Where was, where was that? Stanton Ranch. Down there where Uncle Ray lived. Oh, so y'all... Did y'all just live out there for the summer? No, we lived out there for the whole time. I went to school in Bell City. Wait, I'm confused. I started the school in, at Lagrange in Lake Charles. And then in elementary or high school? Elementary. Okay. First grade. Okay. And then, then we moved to, uh, back down on Stanton Ranch, and I went to school in Bell City. And then in third grade, you moved here? Ready to move here. Okay, so when you said working in the rice fields, was that when you were in elementary or? Yeah. yeah. Um. What you're trying to do is get the it's. I don't. It's right there. Um. So okay. When y'all, when you moved here in third grade, would y'all go back to the Stanton Ranch in the summers? So you didn't work in the rice fields past third uh, grade? Not after I ever moved here. I didn't do that until probably, uh, probably fifth, sixth grade, something like that. I don't know. So when y'all would go work the fields, would y'all just stay in Bell City? No, I worked. I, I pull weeds. I work in the rice fields here too. Oh, okay, okay. When I work for my daddy, we live down down there where, where Billy lives. Oh, okay. Uh. Where were the rice fields here? One of them was down there off the Houston River Road. Back of the graveyard. Whose whose land was that? Well, I don't know who it belonged to. People farmed it. I don't. They didn't own it. Back of the graveyard, it belonged to Cross and Manigan, but we worked for Leonard Rockoff. Uh, okay. And when it was on Houston River Road, we worked for his brother, uh, Willard. So was Papa? No, no. That was what was working for these individuals. Oh, did now the the Papa work for the no. right? No, 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 no. That was just y'all. That was that you was and Uncle Charlie's a, yeah, job. Too. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, two dollars a day. Two dollars a day. <laughs> <laughs> what would two dollars a day be compared to to today? What would would that be? Well, when I went when I went to work for Texaco, I was getting a dollar, a dollar and a half an hour. Oh, really? And that was 
But that was after I graduated from high school. So, what were you up to when you retired? Five thousand a month. Oh, you were on salary. You weren't on hourly anymore. Uh, what is something you remember the most about your mom? That she was kind of a, a nurse here in Edgeley. Uh -huh. Anytime anybody got sick, they either call her or Sadie. Sadie Robinson? Yeah. Sadie Robinson? Yeah, she had the peach tree pol poultice, right? Oh, oh that's wrong. That was, that was down younger. Well, Dave talks about Momo making the peach tree oh, poultice. Oh, oh, poultice? Yeah, that, that was... Uh, she put peach tree leaves in... in uh, she'd boil it in cornmeal put that hot cornmeal in, in a rag and, and put it on the floor or something. Where did the peach, tr peach tree it, go? It, no, it was the leaves. She boiled the leaves? She boiled the leaves in corn cornmeal. <laughs> like, you know, like, like you make cornmeal mush? Uh, yeah. Huh? Well, she put peach tree leaves in that and then get boil it pretty dry. And then she put it in, in, in a rag, like a, a dish towel or something uh -huh. like that, and, and put it on, on whatever she wanted to, to draw. Huh. Uh, what do you think were things that were most important to her in life? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. You don't know. What do you remember the most about your dad? He was quite. He was what? He was quiet. Oh, well, we know where you get that from then, huh? <laughs> did he, did I imagine this or did he play a violin? Did, could he play the violin or fiddle? He play, yeah, he could play it a little bit and he could play the accordion. The accordion. Yeah. Who, was he self-taught? You don't know? I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah, I could used to be able to play in the yard and could hear her playing across the street when her her a long, long time up there at church. Uh huh. Yeah, I could. She'd have her door and windows open with that attic fan running, and I, I could hear her playing the piano. Um. So how did Texaco come into the picture? Did you just apply to work there? Did somebody? Somebody tell you about Jimmy it? Jimmy Jenkins come to the house, him, him and his wife. And uh, he told me, he said, they're hiring at Texaco. And he said, come and go back. That was on a Sunday evening. He said, come and go back. So we go, we can go put an application in. So that's what I done. I went over and put an application in at Texaco. He said, you want to go to these other plants? I said, no, that's good. So who's Jimmy Jenkins? Well, he can sell it. used to live here. He was from Edgerly? Yeah, he, oh. well, he lived here. Uh huh. But it, he, he used to live down there by that old pump station. The Gulf Pump Station, he, uh, Mr. Jeffers was his stepdaddy. Uh -huh. They come here from Newland. Uh, I think from Benton, really. But that's where he lived now, in Newland. Uh. And he married, uh, married Beagle's sister. Get out here, dog. Leave that dog alone. Uh, Leave that dog alone. He ain't hurt nothing. Leave that dog alone, bull. What, um, so it took you 45 minutes to get to Port Arthur. What did it take you back in the day, like when you first started working there? Oh, I didn't. I, I stayed with them. I stayed with Valma and Jimmy. Oh. Till I went to service. Then after I got out of service is when I started driving it. Oh, so where did Velma and Jimmy live? In Port Arthur. In Port Arthur. So, okay, well, after you got out of the service and you drove, I mean. I started driving 
back and forth then. Did it? Ta I mean, did, did it take a long time? I mean, back in the day, it was probably only well, 55 go, miles an well, hour. Well, I through orange, all the red lights and all that. I don't know how long it took. Uh huh. Why couldn't he go back there and bother the animals? Well, I got my two back there, and he don't bother them. A what? We don't have a two back there, and they don't bother them. Uh. Did we settle? Yeah, you still hungry? Uh, are you, you hungry? hungry? Okay, this says, what do you remember about each of us when we were born? <laughs> what do you remember about Dwayne? When I first seen him, he had a black spot right there in his hair. <laughs> oh, black spot? Yeah. Did it, was it part of his hair or was it like yeah, on the skin? It was hair. Mm. But y'all, y'all didn't get to watch them be delivered back in oh, the day, no. huh? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, what about? Matter of fact, they didn't even let you go in the in the what what you call it? What you, Delivery room. Well, I don't know where they kept them till they they uh, started delivering. You couldn't uh, go in that. Uh, so y'all named? I mean, he obviously his first name came from you, Dwayne. I mean, Gordon. But where did Dwayne come from? Y'all know? Y'all just liked it? His mama liked it, I think. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, why didn't y'all just go ahead and name him Gordon Richard? Well, Richard was named after me. Richard Clement. Oh, he was named after you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I Richard, don't know that. He and uh, her brother. Me and her brother. Richard T. Aww. I did not know that. Yeah. Huh. Uh, what do you remember about Wendell? Well, mostly about Wendell. The opening out of, into his stomach wasn't big enough. And when you'd give him a bottle, he'd, he'd throw it all back up. Oh, really? Yeah. And so they had no doctor cooked in Victoria's. It was maybe special, so we took over there. We'd have to give him some dope <laughs> before we give him the bottle. Uh huh. And, and get him settled down, and then. then All right. So were they? They're just like two years apart, right? A year. A year. Yeah. Oh, you worked that one out well, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> uh, what about Nancy? Did you think she was gonna be another boy, or were y'all hoping for a girl, or did it matter? I was hoping for a girl. Uh huh. And David was the only one that was planned. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Really? You planned for a fourth one? Yep. That's funny. Why Why did y'all, I mean, he was planned. What did? My wife wanted it. She wanted it? Yeah, she wanted another kid. Y'all ain't got right. no ants down there? No. Are you getting bit? I got them here. Um, what about me? Was I planned? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, potato. <laughs> I already know what you thought about me. You thought, what'd you say? You're going to be 57 when I graduated? Yeah. What you going to do, Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yes, I am. I can't hear you. Yes, I'm staying. I'm staying the night. This one says, what are you most thankful for? Long life, I guess. You guess? And being able to support my family the way I did. Yeah. You did good, Dad. <laughs> 